This tutorial is about the node graph. We will look at how to place nodes in the node graph, connect them and navigate around them. Let's start with the navigation. So to pan is alt, so you can see I can pan around holding the alt key. But if I've got hold of a node, I can also invoke the pan by just holding the alt and you can see that I don't let go of the node and I can pan around as well, which can be quite handy. To zoom is middle mouse button and alt, like that, or the middle mouse wheel. And again, you can see that you zoom around the point of the mouse. A middle mouse click will fit all the nodes. Also, F will fit all the nodes. Or in that case, actually, F fitted selected. If I have nothing selected, I will get all the nodes. But if I select those nodes and say I'm over here and hit F, you'll see that those nodes come into view. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see that we've got a map of all nodes. We can move around with this sort of viewing area. This pink area here represents the viewing area here of the node graph. You can also scale the map how you want it. And also if you fit all nodes the map disappears. Let's look how we can uh, get some nodes into the node graph then. So first off you've got this menu here so we could choose a node from here like color bars and that node will appear in the graph. So if I now go back to that last menu I chose from and click middle mouse button I'll get exactly the same node as I just chose. So that's the first way to get nodes, but as with most things in Nuke, there's more than one way to do this. So here's another way. If we right click, we get the same menus that we saw on the left there, but without the icons. So here would be image, color bars. And then another way to invoke a node would be with tab. Now be careful here because Nuke has focus. So if I hit tab while over the viewer with the mouse, it's going to do something different to if I'm over the node graph. So over the node graph, hit tab. I get this little box here. So if I start typing B, I get all the nodes beginning with B. If I was to hit tab again now, then I would get the top of that list. If I hit B L, then I get blur at the top of the list and tab would give me that. I can use the arrow keys to go up and down or the mouse. So if I say, right, I want blur, just hit tab. Also on top of that, there are the hotkeys. So if we look at the menus here, we can see that Bezier has a P next to it. So what that means is if you hit P, you'll get the Bezier. Okay, I'm just gonna run through all the nodes that have hotkeys. So let's start P for Bezier, K channel copy, C color correct, G grade, B blur, shift A admix, M merge, T transform. Right, you'll notice that some of these have two inputs. So we can get Nuke to connect this for us as well while using a hotkey. So let's get rid of those. So if we go over here, let's just say that we want to copy the alpha from the checkerboard into the color bars. So if we click checkerboard, shift click color bars, press K, we can see that the A pipe was onto the first selection and the B in the second. The same would be true of a merge. So if we went click, shift click M, you can see it's done exactly the same. Okay, we've seen how Nuke can auto connect, but we need to know how to connect ourselves really. So if we go up here and choose the Bezier. Now we can drag up from the Bezier, so that's one way to connect, or we can drag down from the merge, either way. One thing to note about uh, this out pipe though is if you have a viewer connected, as you're going to lose your out pipe there, so you either disconnect from the viewer, like so, or drag up from the Bezier. As you probably noticed, we can disconnect either from here or from here. But that's actually a preference. So if I go into my preferences here, look at node graph, and then allow picking of connected arrows. So if I uncheck that, I no longer be able to disconnect from here. But I find that a little bit of a hindrance really, so I'm gonna allow it, close that. So let's just reconnect. We can also insert nodes into the, into the existing flow. So if we look at that, so if we bring this down here, so we can see this, pipe. If I was to choose a color correct, see that as the pipe goes white, that's now connected in there. So to extract that would be control shift X and that's now extracted. If I have say three color corrects, and now if I want to select all these three, I could either marquee around them, but the marquee has to fully encompass them. So like that won't work, fully encompass them. Or I could shift click. So now I can uh, drag these over the pipe 
and the pipe will go white and it looks like all three are connected but what has actually happened is it's only this one that's connected so if we look you can see that they have been branched off so it's something to be aware of so we'd have to do something like that be aware that there are other options for the node graph that live under edit here or you can also get to them with the right click here as edit I'm not going to go through them all but I'm just going to give you some hotkeys for some that I quite like so to change inputs on a merge would be shift X um, to align everything if you select what you want to align press L and then also search would be backspace and that defaults to saying viewer there but you can put in there whatever you want okay that rounds it up for the no graph